Oh, it's spicy. <coughs> it's gonna be good though. It's gonna mellow out <coughs> when it cooks. Hopefully. <coughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Dookie Hong of the Sunday Restaurant in San Francisco. Today I'm gonna make you Korean fried chicken that we're gonna do a little bit differently. We're gonna do it in the pan instead of deep frying. This is a whole chicken. I think this recipe is great because we get to use the full bird. A lot of people kind of forget about the wishbone, but this is actually the wishbone. You want to take this out to make carving easier. This technique is legendary chef Jack Pan. He debones this whole bird while keeping the whole bird intact. Actually, I think my record was 45 seconds. Really simply, I split the back, dislocate the joint, and just pull. Go to the other side. Just dislocate the joint, pull and then you come down all the way to the oyster, which is this little beautiful meat right over here that make sure you get. And then you put in your thigh, you break the thigh, and then you are free. So that's one side. This side, same way, oyster meat, thigh bone. You just remove the carcass, the body, right? And this we're gonna roast and incorporate it into our sauce to kind of really fortify that chicken flavor. This is actually my favorite way to have any pan fried chicken. It's a beautiful way to have boneless and bone in. You got bone in here, you got boneless here. The less complicated is just cutting it up into eight pieces. But this is cool. So this is what your chicken should look like, right? So it's fully boned out. You have all the skin intact. So you want as much skin hitting that pan and getting all crispy. I love the flavor of roasted chicken bones. There's a lot of people that don't know what to do with these except stock, which is great, but you could also roast your bones and put it right in your sauce and then strain it out at the end, obviously, right? That should cook. Obviously, that was, I don't want to say it was complicated, but it's a probably a newer technique. If that's something that you're afraid to do, definitely ask your butcher. He or she will definitely know how to do it. And just ask for a deboned bird. And then you can start from here. Get the oil going. So key here is seasoning it heavily on the flesh side, and then there's a skin side, right? So I only put black pepper on the flesh side because it's not the presentation side. And the skin side, I just salt. And then I have some flour just to dry out that skin. It could be starch, it could be flour. We have flour today. Another way to do it if you don't have flour is just leave it in your fridge for a couple hours. So it should look like this. Kind of nice and dry. Yeah. And you want that pan smoking hot. Like this is the definition of smoking hot. You want to go in like this, make sure it's laying out and it's a little oil bath. Get it in there. Probably takes about eight to 12 minutes. You do want to reduce it right when you put it in, probably about to medium heat and just kind of let it go. After we press it, the chicken will start whitening on the side, I means it's cooking, right? It's kind of what you're looking for. I call it meat sweats when like there's like chicken juice on top too. That's kind of a visual cue. I'm gonna put something heavy just to press that chicken, right? So I'm just gonna prep some of the veg. I would say the mushrooms. This recipe was inspired by Chef Jack Pepin. When I was really young, kind of started 14, 15, I used to watch his show. And I guess that's kind of how I got into cooking. He was breaking down this chicken. I had never seen anybody break down chicken that way. So I was like, one day I'm gonna use that chicken, but kind of do it my way. So this is like an homage to Chef Jack Pepin, his technique, but my flavors and kind of my style. So I should get the sauce going, huh? This sauce is a very traditional Korean spicy soy glaze. About a half a cup of soy. Some that corn syrup to give it that viscosity and that beautiful sheen. Some Korean chili pepper paste, gochujang. Recipe is actually, it's just a list of ingredients. So for you, taste it. Do you like spicy? Do you like more soy? Do you like it sweeter? Just trust your palate. Let's get, the, let's get it cranking. How are you doing, chicken? How are you doing, buddy? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Just keep going. Woo, baby. Look at this. This is the color we want. I think the bones, the fat, the skin. Just letting it go, and that's gonna turn into a beautiful sauce. 
I'm gonna add a couple of Thai chilies, so I want some spice element to this. That's a lot of chili. That has to go for a little bit. <coughs> oh, that's, where's that agua that y'all gave me? <coughs> Look at this. This is me and Matt Roberts' cookbook, Koreatown. It's a good cookbook. You should buy it. It's $19 on Amazon. I think that's the guy. I'm gonna just let it go, low and slow. Nice and crispy. Getting a couple of these in there. That's gonna be good. Oh, baby. It's gonna be really good. This, we're just gonna go in the oven and just kind of let it go low and slow. Is this on? How are you doing, Sauce? We got all we can from the bones, so we're gonna strain it out so it's a sauce that we can brush on. We spent all this time getting a crispy skin. I don't want to ruin that by just dumping liquid on it. It's just to protect the integrity of the skin. It's a good word that I used. Beautiful. So it's all coming together and we're ready to plate. Beautiful sauce. It's that chicken loaf. It's that chicken loaf. Kind of do it random. A couple of breast pieces. Let's just pile that on there. Make it all fancy schmancy. It's delicious. Look at that guy. That's, I think that's the guy. This looks good. I'm gonna think my favorite part, the thigh. Mm. Crispy skin, sweet, spicy sauce. It's super, super, super juicy meat. That's what it's all about, I feel like. Right. Oh. For the recipe, click below. You guys know where to click. You guys, they, they, they've watched a couple of these before. Click, click the recipe below. Yeah, everyone points. Like. So yes, do that. Make the recipe. Let's go.